Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you where the secret chest is in White Run. So everyone knows where White Run is, where you first start the game. So what you want to do when you come through the main gate, you're going to walk a bit further so you can see the main gate there. You're going to want to come to this little alcove area on your left, and in here there's going to be a barrel. You're going to want to jump on this barrel. This may take a few times to get it, and then you're going to want to leap up onto that wall. Like I said, it's, it's not very easy, but once you get the hang of it, you'll probably get it every time. So after a I think it probably took me about a minute and a half. I actually get it here. I'm going to show you exactly the route that you've got to take to get to the hidden chest. Right, once up on here, I found crouching and jumping just to get outside of the map. Running up and down the wall, you can try all sorts to get out of here. Eventually, you will manage to get out. I'm just going to put it into third person player here, just so you can see. There we go, and we're out. And then from here, you want to follow the route that I take exactly. Because if you stray too far, you'll end up falling through the map. You want to come down, jump over all these rocks, sticking close to the walls of White Run. Come through this little area here. Uh, I will be doing videos on other secret chests as well, so be sure when I upload them to check them out. This is a great way of uh, building up gold, ingots, all stuff for your smithing. So it's definitely well, uh, well, well worth a try. Not much further from here now. Just follow the path. And uh, be sure to check out my other videos as well. I have uh, many Skyrim guides on uh, levelling up. Uh, I've got an ingot series. To find uh, dwarven ingots, iron ingots, all the stuff that you need for smithing. Right. We're almost there now. There's a little hole there that looks like there's nothing there. You don't want to go there. Follow the path through there. And there's a little triangle that's cut out. You, you can't actually walk through there. So what I recommend doing from this area is quick saving. Because then that way, if you don't get it quite right on your first go, you, you can just come back to this area. So you're going to want to jump over here. You're going to want to fall through this rock to your left. And from this point, as you can see, the chest is there. You can either run and try and spam the button, but I think I've found an easier way to save, because uh, you'll see here I miss. You just move slightly to the left, there's sort of an invisible platform that you can get to. And then, there we go, we can open the chest. In the chest, there's all sorts of armor. It's uh, actually the chest from the Skyforge. See, in this particular chest there was no gold on that, because I'd already come here and taken it. So as you can see, there's loads of stuff in here. There was a load more, but I've already taken some of it. And then simply, to get out of here, just follow the path that I take. You're going to want to do this invisible wall here. Just here, and then you're going to come out the bottom of the steps. And there we are, back in White Run, back in the game. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button for me. You and don't forget to subscribe for more Skyrim tutorials. And I'm going to see you in the next video, and I'm out.